Alright guys, welcome to my channel. Hello, hello everybody. This is Nijisa. So today I came across this video, right? Uh, it talks about like how Anna's down for one bag is plus one on uh, hit and leaves Anna in CJM. Um, it basically says things like, you know, the D, uh, UF2 is the perfect option select, right? So let's go ahead and go over it. So as many of you guys already know from the video, you guys could already clearly see that up for 2 pretty much beats out a lot of the options, right? But we're not going to go ahead and cover all that again because it's pretty obvious that a lot of those options are going to be hit no matter what you do. Okay, I'll try to not make this too long. Hopefully I can put it under 5 minutes, but if not, then just bear with me and watch this, okay? So, first of all, obviously... Tekken is not a set game. No player plays the same way, right? So obviously the most important thing is reaction, right? And like I always believe that reaction time is not perfect, right? So in other words, unless you're just anticipating, unless you're anticipating Anna to go into the three, right? Uh, into the one back, then you'll probably be spamming up four two immediately, right? But if you're not spamming up four two immediately, you're going to have like a one or two frame delay, right? So, with that said, if you're waiting, if you're actually waiting to see this uh, down 4-1 uh, back, then you probably will probably fall for down 4 sidestep, right? Pretty easy, right? If you're, if you're going to guess it like that, right? So, first of all, if you do throw off this move here from a sidestep option instead of a back, you would be set up in a very bad situation, right? Okay, so that's aside from the fact of just that particular reaction, right? Now for just the regular moves that would actually uh, beat out up for uh, two, right? I, I kept saying up for one, but I meant to say up for two. First of all, this particular move here, it's actually uh, it's actually quite hard to catch because uh, the timing is really hard, right? You can see that the frame is only 16, so you have to almost do this perfect just to catch uh, up for two, right? So let's go ahead and demonstrate, right? So if I press up for two immediately, right? Like if I, I'll just show you guys that I'm smashing this, right? With the, uh, with the hit command on. Let's go ahead and show you guys. So just in case, right? So if I'm smashing up for two immediately, right? Of course he's gonna get hit, right? But um, the timing is actually really important here too. You have to do that really fast. But of course, this particular option, you can just uh, sidestep to the other side as well. But this is just one option to show you that can also beat out uh, up for two. I keep saying up for one, but up for two. Okay. And then the next option here is even uh, harder because this move here is only 18 frames. So you have to almost do it perfect. But this particular move will actually get hit. But I mean, you take about the same damage as your opponent does, right? Because you're in airborne and they're not really... Well, you're not in airborne, but it kind of like... You just don't lose that much damage either ways. And if your opponent has a slight delay, if they're waiting for you, if they're waiting to see the CJM, they're always going to get hit. If they wait and see the CJM and then react, they're always going to get hit. So, yeah. Or, I mean, sometimes they might be able to, like, press extremely fast. I'm not saying they can't, but... Uh, the best result for them here, if they do press it perfect, they will get a tray. And if they press it slightly behind, they will get, uh, obviously, like I showed you guys, right? That option there. And of course, this move does track this side as well. I mean, obviously, you can try to react faster and try to maybe do something here. But if you sidestep and try to throw a punch, you're already too late. You might as well just block, right? Yeah, so it's like that. Okay. So that's the uh, one option, uh, that's the another option, and then this option here, let's see what this option is. Okay, so this is just the grab, but these are, uh, this grab is actually a special grab, it's not, um, it's, it's not just a grab. I'm going to explain this to you because Anna is, it's kind of complicated, okay? So this does beat out this up for two, maybe not as consistent depending on which side. Like if if you hit your opponent a little bit further to this side, I believe, maybe if he's like sidestepped a little bit. No, maybe this side. Okay, it, it, it catches pretty consistently. Okay, so this catches pretty consistently, but um, 
just to know this is actually a special option right here it's not just uh, you go into CJM and you do the grab it's actually Anna has a lot of stuff here that people probably don't know if they're not Anna players right she does do she does have a just bring just frame guard breaker as well so if you do it with the just frame down four two one plus uh, down down four one plus two you're gonna get the just frame guard breaker and you're not gonna get that uh, that particular uh, option right but this particular throw is actually delayed so if you don't delay this particular option you won't get this beat out as well right but of course knowing that it's a throw you can just duck it or you could walk this way it will work but if you try walking this way it won't work if you try walking this way you'll get caught right okay that's uh for that particular option and let's see what this option is <clears throat> okay so this option is actually uh it's it doesn't really beat uh, it beats it out but it leaves uh your it leaves you in back turn with the zero frame so i'll show you guys why i said it's zero frame if frame does a down jab you both trade right so you're basically on your back with uh, disadvantage i know disadvantage you're basically at zero it's a mixed up game right there right so depends on what your opponent wants to do right if he does a duck jab you can actually beat it out with your duck jab right because back turn duck jab is actually eight frames right but um the only thing is that he can also do a hop kick right but if he does a hop kick then you have to do something else right you have to do your hop kick because your hop kick is probably faster than his hop kick or something like that right um, but we're not going to go into how uh, much mix-up you can get in that situation there. We're going to go ahead and cover some more options. Okay, so these are the last two options that I can think of at the moment. You know, there could be more stuff, but, you know, I didn't do my homework enough. I just barely watched the video and just like, oh, I just put up some of my information that I know, right? So, okay. So next is obviously the tracking option that does go that side. And... This particular move is weird, right? So sometimes it just looks like this. This is the really weird occasion. You don't usually get this option, right? So I'll show you guys that uh, the majority of the time, if you do this perfectly, like if uh, if you press it immediately afterwards, you usually will always hit him, right? Like so, right? Um, of course, it's weird. You do get minus frame for some reason because you hit them from behind. But uh, obviously, you could just duck to, uh, if you're the fame player, you could just duck this option, right? And then, or you could just slice up this way, right? But with that said, uh, this option does beat out up forward too, right? And then this last option here is my favorite option because this is the one option that a lot of people fall for because they don't really know that it actually exists, right? So this is the delay hand attack. The delay hand attack practically uh, works both ways, right? You could try walking this way, it'll catch you. You could try walking this way, it'll catch you. You could try doing up forward two, it'll catch you, right? The only option to beat this out is just duck or just interrupt it with a random attack, right? So yeah, but this does also beat out the uh, up forward two, right? So yeah. So pretty much that covers all the moves that I can think of at the moment that can beat out up for two. So I'm not saying that it's not the perfect option. I'm just saying if you are a, a player that don't like to play defense with actual defense and you prefer to use like crushing moves, then um, yeah, up for two will be your go-to option, right? But if you're a perfect that uh, a person that prefer to just play the perfect uh, defense, right? Then you probably just be like, okay, I'm gonna just wait and see what my opponent likes to do, and I try to play the the defense. So yeah, that's just my uh, that's just my take on it. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Bye bye.